This is the stock market analysis and projections. Uh, important information I'm going to share with you right now. Make sure you read this slide. It tells about our approach to the markets, and it also talks about you using our uh, information and uh, the importance of you taking ownership of your own trades. For those of you that are just joining us because you're watching the clip of the stock market analysis, uh, I want to encourage you to go back and watch the whole show. There's a ton of information there as uh, we have shared trade ideas on four different symbols and we did analysis on uh, about eight other symbols. So there's there's so much that we have shared that if you're just joining us right now, you haven't seen, plus the way to get Ask Slim information for free um, and a uh, way you can join in our premium services preview. So I want to remind you to pay attention to that and do do that for free, join up for free. All right, stock market analysis. We're going to look at the S&P 500 weekly, daily, and intraday proprietary indicators and chart analysis. And I'm also going to peek in at the futures hub, which has some other information on it. I'll give you a little peek at uh, the other indexes just uh, using the futures hub, uh, which, again, you can use for, for free for the next couple of weeks uh, during our PSP, so premium services preview. Let's take a look now as we look at the stock market. This is the uh, S&P 500, and uh, I'm looking at the 20-year weekly. Uh, I'm looking at a daily here, at uh, a daily also with momentum information and a two-hour chart. I can just double-click and blow this up, and you'll be able to see. And there's arrows up in the top here, as you can see. If you're not familiar with the Thinkorswim platform, that's where our live charts live and uh level four level four plus members uh do get the live charts to put up on their thinkorswim platform uh so and you can just click the arrow and move forward on the time frames as you see me doing right there all right so this is the weekly analysis uh this of course has been bullish analysis in the s p 500 uh as the cycle structures the configurations and translations uh, are positive. If you don't understand that language, just, you know, take our workshop. I'll go to askthem.com. There's a free video there and you will be able to uh, see, you know, get, get some sense around the type of work that we do. We're looking at money flows. There's nothing hocus pocus about this. This is just ways to see the energetic movements in the markets. We use uh, the cycle analysis and our momentum indicators uh, in order to be able to sense that. And you can see positive cycle here, positive cycle here, and the first part of this cycle positive, and the reversal scout giving you the momentum conditions. And right now we have been positive here on the S&P 500 and on the NASDAQ also. So this is the um, potential correction period that I have discussed at the beginning of the show. And that is that my sense was because the enormous concentration uh, in the S&P 500 with the top 10 stocks uh, uh, at record uh, weighting in the S&P 500. At the beginning of the show, I show you a chart on that. It says to me that we're going to be looking for a corrective period in here. That takes you out into the uh, late July period there. And then this period out over here into August, September, maybe October is the next favorable period where we would expect higher highs. So this is a corrective period that could be very, very shallow. It could be much deeper than I have it drawn in here. And by the magnitude of a correction, we will know what the conditions are of the market. If you look at this corrective period right in here, it was barely perceptible. You never got a downturn in momentum on this cycle. And if you get something like that in here where they just chop sideways, go up a little, down a little, we're going to know that the higher track over here is where they're likely to take in that next rally. If this falls much deeper in here, then we're going to get a sense for a lower track as being uh, how the stock market would rally in there. Uh, I, I have a high confidence right now that there will be some type of correction in here because it's quite unusual to get cycles that are this powerful and no correction in the mid-cycle corrective period right over there. To get three of those in a row would just be incredibly rare based on uh, the way we understand patterns. If you look at this cycle here that started the rally, you could see the mid-cycle 
decline was very deep right in there. In a bearish cycle, of course, it's really deep. But here in bullish cycles, sometimes you get deeper ones. And when you get a couple in a row like this, the next one tends to be more volatile. So I'm looking for this period of a correction out over here. And right now you can see I'm projecting to 5290. That's only 170 points. That's not a very deep correction at all. It's ba barely 3%. Uh, and uh, there's no reason for me to be suggesting anything deeper than that into the summer. Right now, we'll let the market tell us looking at that. Now, when I look at the daily chart here, uh, the way that we do this is that, well, we look at the cycle rhythms, as you can see right in here, and uh, each of these very clear, as you can see, each of those powerful upside moves in this upside trend. We had a corrective cycle in here that you can see, and then another positive cycle. When you see the word swamped, it's because the upside pressure from the weekly chart is pushing up so hard that it really can't correct. This is a swamped a cycle that made a little triangle right over there. This is a super swamp cycle. Same thing right over here. You don't get much in the way of corrections. That could happen in the cycle we're in right now here on this daily chart. And where you get just this modest decline in here, this is, you can see the upper channel right over there is where it's moved up into. And uh, a correction down, this is 54.32 which is not much uh, at, at this time frame. And this is really the cycle over here that I think is going to have the bigger correction. This goes all the way out into late July or beginning of August. So we could get a modest corrective period in here and then a rally out over here into the July and then turning down for something bigger. This is very powerful. Again, slim ribbon positive right over here, reversal scout positive. Everything in here is powerful, except that there's an engulfing pattern right over there. And that engulfing, see the engulfing over here that actually set the cycle peak. And I'm thinking this is setting that cycle peak. And we go into the correction. This is 33.50 right over here. If it hits the 50% of this cycle, which again, uh, would only be about a 2% drop. Right over here would be uh, 30, 53, 10. So th this is what I expect, that this cycle will be somewhat shallow right in there. And then the next cycle over here will take some sort of an upward movement here and then roll over and fail. And then the sharper decline comes somewhere out over there uh, into that late July or August period, which would be then in alignment with what I see here on the weekly chart. Right now on the daily chart, there's no sign of it. You can see here on the bottom, this is the option bias study. When it is green all the way up on the top, that is P3. That's as positive as this gets. It says, keep your options biased to the long side. Here you can see where it was negative. It was saying, keep your options biased to the short side. The slim ribbon PO on the bottom is uh, coming down over here and is a, about to give us another upward momentum signal unless this market turns down very sharply, which says that there's going to be some more wiggle over here before you get a correction. And this is why I think the daily chart is saying for now, it's going to be shallow. If there's any pullback, it's going to be very minimal. And then this next cycle right over here, which again goes out into late July to early August, is the one that I think it's going to become steeper. Slim Ribbon PO positive, about to give you an upside resumption signal. Option by a study positive, both level four studies for Thinkorswim platform. This is the Slim Ribbon uh, on an area chart. It's really great to look at it this way because it gives you a real sense for uh, the market uh, momentum conditions on the daily chart, short term. Uh, condition that says uh, it's still in great shape. And the slim ribbon often gives you support and resistance. Uh, and you can see on the way up, it was fantastic support all of the way. This is the area chart. So you can see it would come down and test the slim ribbon there. Here it came up and tested the slim ribbon and pulled back. And here it's getting support on the slim ribbon again. So uh, right now the slim ribbon midpoint is uh, right around 54 or 14. So that's where I could see the very short-term support right now. This is the two-hour chart. And on here, what we have is not only the Slim Ribbon PO, which is just giving you another upside arrow right there, but you can see the S-Slim market condition indicator, 
uh, which is down over here, which has a reading of 90, 91 or 92 on it, which is super strong. For this to turn negative, and this would be one of the first warnings, it would get down under the 25 here, give us a warning, and get through it and move down through the minus 25 in order to tell us that the conditions were weakening on the near term. And that would give us, then we would start to look for what does that mean as far as the overall uh, market condition. So right now, everything that we see here, weekly, daily, daily momentum conditions, two hour, all positive. One more thing on that two hour. This is somewhat typical when this is positive. You can see it moves up. It does a triangle uh, right over here, gets into the slim ribbon, creates a flag, breaks out here into the slim ribbon, creates a flag, breaks out. So if you're a, a short-term trader, interday trader, this is a very important chart for you to be looking at because for a person that's an interday trader, this is a very dominant force. And it says, you know, once you break out of these consolidations, it's likely to move up sharply as it did right over here and here, here. So that's really an important chart for you to look at if you are an interday trader. So I wanted to show you that. Two hours is probably the longest time frame you'd look at if you were a day trader or an interday trader. So uh, that's a look at the S&P 500 conditions, just really strong. I want to go to our uh, futures hub right over here. This is an amazing hub that we have because it's got all of my futures working here and everything that RV reviews and brings in future speak. So I just showed you the S&P 500 looking at the weekly daily chart. Well, you can look at the NASDAQ on here if you wanted to see that. It's going to bring up the weekly chart with our work. It has the levels in there. And the daily chart, that's here also. You can click on it. It's going to blow it up for you. And you'll be able to see that chart in the NASDAQ. It looks a lot like the S&P 500, right? Moving up to that top of that channel. So that's all in here in the Futures Hub. It also is going to uh, give you uh, the Russell right there. Uh, which is much more of a negative pattern. You could see the daily chart in here is showing you the negative pattern, and that's been negative. You could see on the bottom over here, uh, the market condition indicator has been, uh, I'm sorry, the option bias indicator has been red. You could see that very clearly. All of that information is in here, including our video analysis, uh, uh, the great work that you can uh, that you see for people that are level two, three, and four, uh, that uh, RV does on FutureSpeak. Well, here you could see that video analysis. You could see all the technical details right here. Can you imagine that's all in here for all of this? And also the colors on here are the intermediate conditions. And that comes off of uh, our, uh, one of our, our level three applications that we have. And uh, so that comes here into the charts and you could see uh, the bond market quite strong. We've been positive on that while the in interest rate market 10 year yields is quite negative. You wanna see my commentary on that? Just click that little, uh, 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 that little icon right over there and it brings up all of my commentary in the last time I did the update. So uh, all of the comments are in here, all of the levels are in here, all of the charts are in here. And you can actually have this for free right now. You can have this for free by becoming a premium services preview member that we're going to be having uh, that starts in just a couple of days. You could sign up right now for that uh, and it will start the early part of next week. But this is the futures hub. Those of you that are interested in the, the gold and metals markets, you know, I've been super bullish on them for the very long term. But you could see these are red right now and these are telling you intermediate conditions are not good at the moment. We warned about the pattern here in gold. You can see on the weekly chart, this is really uh, has turned down. Momentum is negative. I'll blow that up for you to see all that information for you is there and the key levels. So you can see that just by being in this futures hub and you can uh, see the technical details, the cycle low dates in there and it gives you all of that information, the key levels, that's all in there. Can you imagine all of that you could have right now? Absolutely for free. All you need to do is to go to our uh, premium services preview, which is starting, uh, you can see it's June 25th to July 12th. You get all this information in here with the Futures Hub that I just showed you. If, if you're just watching the clip of this uh, analysis, Matt did a great job of explaining all of this to you. Go to asklim.com, click learn more at the top, sign up for free, no credit card necessary at all. And that's it. That's my stock market analysis. That's a look at the Futures Hub.